G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me, GD. So, between episodes, I've done two little things, okay? One, you can see, well, both of them you can see right here. First up, I found all the stone brick that we had in storage. And I said, hey, let's just output that straight into the belt that we're using to feed all the way up here, to feed all the things that need stone brick. Um, there's not a lot of them, but I just... I want to have. I want to stop using that stone brick if possible, and use what we already have in storage um, to refill our bus lines. The other thing I did is I took all this stone that we didn't have a lot of, and I literally just took it and stopped stop filling these guys, and just said, "Look, put it on the main bus. I need stone. I need stone desperately because I need these train tracks to go faster." Okay. So we did those two small changes. As you can see, stone's now fine at this end. The issue is we don't have any steel. And then I, I backtracked, okay? I came back to here and I'm like, okay, hang on. I've got iron sitting here, here, and here, and here. And it's coming up here and it's barely moving. Because we're just not using iron terribly fast. Um, but up here, which is our steel production line, we're using it really fast. So I'm going to take a little bit of stone, a uh, little bit of stone, a little bit of iron off each of these three lines and feed it further north. And the way I'm going to do that is with a priority splitter. So I'm going to pop a splitter in here. I'm going to say, hey, you, output priority is left. If there's anything excess, bring it this way. I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to say output priority left. If there's anything excess, bring it this way. I'm then going to take those two and merge them together. Uh, I'm going to do the same again. Output priority left. Take any excess. Uh, we're going to jump over that and over that. And this is a, a temporary thing. It's not permanent. It's just something we need to do right now to sort of get that higher throughput. That was probably reserved for something that I forgot about. Um, please, in the comments, tell me what that was reserved for. Uh, give me time code as well, otherwise, like, there, there's a certain amount of delay between me recording. Generally what happens, I record, and I might record one or two or three episodes in a batch, and then they need to be processed, which is generally an overnight thing, and after they're processed, then they get uploaded. So there's normally anywhere between a a one day and like a three day you know, difference, time difference, between me recording and then you guys seeing the the that video okay next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to snake this over one tile because this has now been upgraded to a red splitter uh it can now output faster and because i'm lazy i'm gonna have the robots come and upgrade all of these belts to red belt as well because we want the higher throughput now I have multiple belts down here that could potentially, and it's a potentially, be running at up to a full yellow belt's worth of speed. So I'm going to upgrade this to red belt so I have that higher throughput. The robots are being too slow. The robots are being too slow. We'll manually upgrade it because you guys are too slow. Oh, you did that half. Here's the robot army to do this half. This is something I love watching. It's another strip. Oh, they ran out of power. You guys suck. Okay. The other thing I can do is I take I can take these two belts, join them together, because again, potentially they're a full yellow belt, and then again merge them together. I want to input priority on your right, because I want to preferably use this rather than anything else. Um, the other thing I desperately want to do is I want to clear... Oh, hello, friends. Uh, all friends are dead without us taking any damage. I'll accept that as a win. Um, but yeah, I, I want to upgrade this to Red Belt for higher throughput. Um, the way these furnace setups work is... At a stone furnace, this was one... A stone furnace speed, and that means yellow belt speed as well, it is one-fifth of a yellow belt, okay? 
which as we remember runs at 15 items per second. This is a red belt, it runs at 30 items per second, twice, twice the speed. If I upgrade these to steel furnaces, which run twice at, at twice the speed, at the same time I upgrade the output, uh, the input belts of ore as well to red belt, then we can then get one fifth of a red belt speed output. Because we're still running at yellow belt speed, we've gone from one fifth of yellow belt speed to two fifths of yellow belt speed because it's twice as fast. It's still not a lot of steel. Honestly, I probably need I probably need three or four more steel smelters. Um, but as we can see, if we scroll far up the line, we've gone from nothing to a fairly constant belt. Um, in fact, if 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 I'd already left the room here and already defended it. I would probably just copy and paste this right now. Take the excess iron I have wherever I have it and feed it again further north. Um, I'm already looking at this and going, well, that belt's not doing too well. So I probably don't have enough iron to grab another belt's worth. But at least as you can see, my stone all the way down here is now all the way backed up, which if we go to our train tracks, means we still have 140 in stock because the steel hasn't made it to the end yet. No, it's still got a long way to go. But it's getting there. It's it's at least more. Um, that's the thing with, with Factorio bases. It's, it's a logistical problem. And the logistics take time to move from A to B. Um, but now it's no longer a stone problem. I can come all the way back down here. And... Put a fancy splitter in. And have that at least run that way. And I can probably even actually, we're just going to do that. We're going to have it running back the way it's meant to go. Um, because it's now definitely going to be a steel problem. I'll throw those in there. I'll throw this little bit of iron in any furnace that needs iron. Um, and I'm going to check our robot range. We have not a lot of robot coverage down here. I need a robot port. Uh, ideally right there so I'm gonna request uh, train track and I'm gonna request a thousand train track I'm also at the same time gonna request signals um, both types because we need to build a we need to build some sort of train station for unloading now the very first type of train station I'm gonna build is what's referred to as a point-to-point -point station it's nothing fancy it is literally just going to go from A being our stone patch to B being where our stone needs to be unloaded. I just need train tracks, which had I kept some stone, I could probably handcraft a few. There we go. Okay. So we need a bit of train track for a train to stop at. Um, that sounds easy enough. We need room for once our train stops to also leave. So it needs to be able to get back out somehow. Like we'll, we'll work out that problem later. Uh, we need a train stop. So our train has somewhere to stop and we need to give this some sort of name. We're gonna rename it to Stone Unload because complicated names really, really help these, these, these situations along. Um, then we need a locomotive or a train, which means I need engine units. Uh, and then we need some cargo wagons. Yeah, so when the robots bring me some engine units, we should be good. Uh, now, trains burn fuel, okay? Uh, runs automatic schedules, pulls cargo wagons, enter the train return, open the train menu with the left mouse button. So trains need fuel. So we're gonna steal some fuel from right here because I happen to have some nice and handy. Bring it all over, over to here. Tell an inserter to grab fuel from belt, shove it into train when I build a train. Where for train be? Where for engines be? It might be just quicker for me to run over and get the... Um, do I see any robots carrying trains? Nope. We have available robots. Uh, 
Do we have engines in the system? Engines are made there. They go to there. Okay, let's try it. L for logistics. Search for engine. No, we don't have engines in the network. So we need to go get some engines by hand. Uh, at the same time, we might, might as well make sure that they are in the network for the next time this problem occurs. Through our make everything, through our military build, right here. Now, I really want to put things in the network at the end of their build, not before. So, as with we've done previously, actually, for this time, let's do something different. So, I can build a filter inserter. A filter inserter is it's just an inserter with a few extra brain cells added on. And I can tell it what I want you to pick up. So I'm going to tell you, hey, I want you to pick up engines only and shove in said box. And this one, I'm just going to cap to one stack. One stack's actually more than enough. And then after doing that, I'm going to rebuild it properly. I built it one tile too close. Uh, engines cap to 50. Because I don't want it. This is, this is the inserted grabbing from here. I actually want it one tile further on. So it's not fighting with the inserter grabbing for science. I want it to have its own separate extra belt segment to grab from. So now he means we can make a locomotive. What do we need for that? We need an iron plane. Oh look, something happens to have left a chest right in a, a pile right here on a belt. Because I need a locomotive and a certain amount of cargo wagons. For this particular bay through, I'm going to build a 1-4 train. So that's one locomotive, four engines. Okay. Um, your mileage may vary. All right. Um, your train can be really any length you want it to. I really like a 1-4 train. Um, it is the maximum ratio, or uh, well, the maximum, I guess, accepted ratio. Because um, each wagon has some amount of weight on it. And anything more than four is just, it takes the train a little while to then get up to speed. So, because this is an output, we want to have some output inserters from the train. Um, and we have, actually, we have access to stack inserters, so we're going to build those. So, up until now, we've been using mostly um, fast inserters. A stack inserter is, if we read the tooltip, it doesn't have a tooltip. Okay. A stack inserter is just something that has a larger... Come here. Uh, okay. Come. Come here in a way we can see what you look like. And power. Help if everything was powered. That way it wouldn't flash so much. So we can actually look at the, the graphics. As you can see, it's got a bigger mouth. It can grab more stuff. That's all it is. Um, it essentially works the exact same as a fast inserter, except it moves more things per swing, which is what we're aiming for. So we're going to use fast inserters because they're faster to load and unload. At the same time, we're going to put down a couple of boxes. Um, and these are going to be a storage box, a, a, a box or a buffer box between the train and um, the belts that are gonna feed into the build. Now, we now have two, four, six, eight. So I've got eight separate spots that these can output, but I really wanna output them on a belt and feed them in right here, because this is where stone has been going. This is where we wanna keep having stone going. So I'm going to combine that in the one belt, that in the two belts, that in the three belts, that in the four belts. Okay, so now I have four belts worth of stone. Um, or, well, in this case, it's going to be stone because this is what we're outputting. And then I'm going to join two together. Let's do things step by step. So I'm going to join the top two together 
and the bottom two together. So we go from four belts down to two belts. I'm going to put another splitter here to go from two belts down to one belt. So I now have one belt of stone. Um, and that's how I'm going to leave it. I am I just literally want one very, very compacted belt of stone that I can then feed into our little stone factory. Uh, and this guy, I'm going to say, hey, input priority is left. I want you to use the base stone before you use any other stone because I want the base stone gone. I, I don't want it sitting around. Um, ideally, we'd love this little patch of area to build on, but at the moment we can't because there's a, you know, the ore's in the way and we don't really want to start ripping that up to, to build anything else. Okay. Uh, next tech I actually want is I want this tech. And hopefully we can build it in a fairly quick way. So, train tracks. Nothing too complicated. We just want the train. Only has an engine at the front, so we can only go forward. And then we want one train track to take us from here to where we're going, which is going to be over to here. Um, at the same time, it, it's a mining situation. So I want to make sure that I have all the stuff on hand to make anything I need to mine over there. So we need to look through what we've, we've got in our inventory, which is probably, thanks research. Okay, you can go away for the moment. So we don't have any miners. So I'd like to come in here and I'd like to say, hey you, I want miners. I probably want Let's go with 250. It's probably too many, but it's always better to have too many than not enough when you leave the base. Um, at the same time, I'm going to need power. I'm going to assume it's overkill, but I'm going to assume for one power pole, I'm going to get three miners set up. So that means I probably only need 100 power poles to power up 300 miners. Um, I'll also need some for the train tracks and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I'll need that as well. Um, we're going to need some stack inserts, same as we've got here. So I've got 8, 16. So we're going to handcraft what we can. And then go find some more gears. Which are conveniently located in my little truck. To handcraft some more. Another 15. No, I'm not handcrafting green circuits. Not the name. Actually, there's whole boxes of green circuits right here. Handcraft those. I'm not, not doing that. What's that? That's going to be close to 50. 50 is a stack. Um, at the same time, I should really look at miners we've got here. Uh, we can see down the bottom right-hand corner, expected resources are empty. Like that one's got some. These guys have nothing. So they're all finished. They're finished. They're finished. That's finished, that's finished, that's finished. Because it's in robot range, I can very, very quickly just go, yep, just just robots, just clean it up. Um, clean it up, put it in a storage, I'll either pull it out of storage later, or um, it'll, it'll sit in storage until it's needed again. Uh, and the dog is now whining under the house rather than out front for a change. You know, because variety matters. It's because he hasn't been fed in 23 minutes. Uh, okay, so that's miners cleaned up from this area. All the other ones are active or backed up. Um, same story, we can clear up these belts. It's all about recycling those resources when and where you can. Oh no, he's come back to the front door to wine now. Uh, you're also done. Okay. How many do we have? We've got 52. Uh, I don't have any wood on me, but we can get wood at the other end to make wooden boxes. Uh, belts. 300 is definitely not going to be enough. I want probably closer to 600. Uh, so we've got power. We've got blah, 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 blah. We have... 107 train tracks to our main, which is nowhere in the field of having nearly enough. That'll help. 
Okay, so what do we need for train tracks? I need stone, plus I need steel. I don't have much steel. I don't need the plastic in my inventory. Uh, steel. Whole belt of tasty steel right here. I'm going to grab all of that. Uh, stone belts at the top. Actually conveniently near a steel belt. Uh, you're now going to say you don't have enough iron. Oh, look, conveniently an iron belt. 220 train tracks. What do you want now? More steel. Because I don't want to leave base unless I, I definitely have enough train tracks to get there. Uh, we've also got large power poles on us. Large power poles are going to be very important to get power there easily. Uh, more steel. I want to go until I run out of stone. I got 19 stone. Okay, so I just need a little bit more steel. Done. Okay, so that's what? 200, 300, 600, 700 train tracks or so. They'll take a while to handcraft, but that's fine. We've got plenty of time to to walk our way there. So, uh, our cliff explosives. Can I have... Because it's a lot easier to go through cliffs than it is to go around cliffs. I don't even know where my cliff explosives are. Yeah, we're, we're picking up a stack of them. Okay, bring this up so I can make sure I stay in the orange area. So that way the robots don't get confused halfway to me and decide to turn around and go back the other way to storage because they lost track of where I was in the network. Hey, cliff explosives. That was 14. You guys can do better than that. Try again. Uh, that looks around about 70. Oh, there's one guy over here. Okay. So we've got our cliff explosives, we've got our belt, we've got our miners, we've got our power poles, uh, we've got our inserters, we've probably got enough splitters and undergrounds. We should be good to go. And actually the last thing I want to get is I want to get one of these. So we won't have that for a while, but I'll craft it anyway and with that we're going to want some robots. Alright, we'll play with that when, when it's crafted, which will be a while. Um, research is backed up, so we might as well pick a research. We're about to get trains, which means we might as well get some braking force. So, trains can slow down faster and allow them to stay at higher speeds longer. It, it's a great little research. It's a fairly cheap little research. Um, in fact... We can do almost like tier one through to tier five for a 15, 15, they're all 15. Yeah, they're all a 15 speed, 15% 15 in, oh, first one's 10. So they're all a 10 to 15% increase in how quickly trains stop. Obviously trains that stop far and stuck in, yeah, as the game says, stay at a higher speed for longer. So we're going to leave our train here. We don't need our train. Um, it's sitting there waiting for us to give it commands and we're going to build some train track now train track Train track is a funny item. It's the only item in the game which once you click it I can build as far as I I can I can see um, Or even if I go to map view and I scroll up to here I can build all the way up to there without a problem. Okay, um, I can build as far as far as the game will let me in a whatever line I decide, um, as long as I can see where I'm building. Um, but it's only when you first, st you have to st first start from within your re uh, your character's reach distance, okay? You can't just pick a train track halfway across the map and start building there. Um, but I can build all the way to the edge of the screen, run over the edge of the screen, see what's over there, go okay. Unfortunately, we're going to go right through the middle of this, oh no, it's right in front of us. So we're going to go this way. We're going to chop down one tree. Keep going this way. 
wait for us to run across. Uh, luckily, we didn't end up with any cliffs in our way. Run further. Now we'll do something about the trees. And trees, and trees, more trees, more trees. Ow. It was intentional. Oh, really? I ran out of grenades? Well, that was unfortunate. Okay. Uh, bring our train track up. I can't reach it, so I can't start it. Uh, we'll curve up at that point. Bring this up a little bit further. And again, put a loop on it so the train can turn around and go back the way it came. All right, we want a train station. Uh, now, before I get too carried away building up here, I actually want to take power straight back to the base because the base is, all things considered, it's reasonably close. It is just down here. But the other thing I desperately need to pick up is I need to pick up walls because I forgot to grab them. And I need to pick up lasers because lasers don't require me to deliver ammo. Um, I can just pop them up here, plug them into the power network. And when we start making pollution right near that biter base, hopefully the lasers will deal with the neighbors and I don't have to. Uh, so, we want lasers, which are, if we follow the battery belt, I was going to extend the battery belt, I didn't get around to doing that yet. Uh, sorry, we probably don't have enough steel to run it. Okay, we've got 200 lasers, I'm going to take 100. 100 seems plenty, he says, knowing full well he's picked up a thousand before and then run out halfway through a build. Uh... I'm going to cap you to two stacks and put that in there. Good. Because I do want to be able to request batteries out. But then again, I don't nearly need that many sitting in a chest. And walls was the other thing. Now, unfortunately, I still move faster than the robots do. So it's actually quicker for me to run over here and go, Hey, walls! In my inventories. I oh, actually don't need to go... No. Walls aren't actually put into a chest. It's alright, we can live without walls in a chest for a little bit. Alright, so we've got power up where our, our, our new outpost is going to be. Um, and the next thing we need to do is actually build out our outpost, which is something that we're probably going to have to do in the next episode, which means I have a chance to go feed the dog again. Um... Because, yes, the guy, the, the little Loki decides he is hungry not once a day, not twice a day, but about 18 times a day. And I have no idea where he fits at all. It's 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 like the skinny kid that goes to Macca's and orders two family meals for himself. I don't get it. I don't understand it, but it is what it is. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed this series. Next episode, we will get our stone production done, which obviously you can see me carrying 150 miners was Terrible, terrible overkill, but that's perfectly fine. Um, it's something you don't know to actually go look at it. Um, and it's always ha better to have too much rather than not enough. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it here, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.